The Ohio-class submarines are the backbone of the U.S. Navy's strategic nuclear force, consisting of 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBNs and four cruise missile submarines SEANs. Each of these massive vessels displaces 18,750 tons submerged, making them the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy. Globally, they rank as the third largest, following Russia's 48,000-ton Typhoon-class and 24,000-ton Bori-class submarines. With the ability to carry 24 Trident II missiles each, the Ohio-class submarines are unmatched in their firepower, outpacing the Bori-class 16 missiles and the now-retired Typhoon-class 20 missiles. As a crucial component of the U.S. nuclear deterrent triad, along with strategic bombers and intercontinental ballistic missiles, the Ohio-class SBNS carry nearly half of the nation's active strategic thermonuclear warheads. While on patrol, their Trident missiles have no pre-assigned targets but can be rapidly directed to specific targets via secure communications from the United States Strategic Command in Nebraska, named after U.S. states a tradition once reserved for battleships and cruisers, the Ohio-class submarines, except for USS Henry M. Jackson, represent the pinnacle of naval engineering. Starting in 2031, they will gradually be replaced by the next-generation Columbia-class submarines, ensuring the continued strength and reliability of America's sea-based nuclear deterrent. The Ohio-class submarines are engineered for long-duration strategic deterrent patrols, boasting two full crews blue and gold who alternate in 70 to 90 day missions. This dual crew system, combined with three large logistics hatches for rapid resupply and maintenance, minimizes time in port and ensures operational readiness. These hatches streamline the transfer of equipment and supplies, drastically speeding up repairs and replenishments. One of the standout features of the Ohio class is its unparalleled stealth capabilities, significantly surpassing previous ballistic missile submarines, during sea trials in 1982, the lead submarine, USS Ohio, was virtually undetectable, giving the U.S. Navy a new level of strategic flexibility. These subs can operate for 15 years between major overhauls and are as quiet at cruising speeds of 20 knots as their predecessors were at much slower speeds though specific details remain classified. Built from massive 42-foot diameter hull sections, these submarines were assembled at General Dynamics Electric Boats Shipyard in Groton, Connecticut. The U.S. Navy operates 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs forming the sea-based leg of the U.S. Nuclear Triad, each armed with up to 20 Trident IISLBMs and four cruise missile submarines, SSGNs, which carry 154 Tomahawk missiles along with harpoon missiles fired through their torpedo tubes. The Ohio-class submarines were originally designed in the 1970s to carry the newly developed Trident submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBMs. The first eight submarines were armed with 24 Trident IC-4 missiles, but starting with the ninth sub, USS Tennessee, they were equipped with the more advanced Trident IID-5 missiles. These newer missiles had greater range, accuracy, and carried 12 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs compared to the eight on the Trident I offering significantly more destructive power. By 2008, all remaining C-4 armed subs had been upgraded to carry D-5 missiles. The Ohio-class subs were split between two home ports the first eight at Bangor, Washington, replacing older Polaris A-3 missile subs and the remaining ten at Kings Bay, Georgia, replacing Poseidon and Trident backfit subs of the Atlantic fleet. In 1994, it was determined that 14 SSBNs would be sufficient for U.S. strategic needs. As a result, four older Ohio-class submarines Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia were converted into guided missile submarines SEAs. Each refitted sub can now carry 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles and deploy 66 special operations personnel, transforming them into versatile platforms for conventional land attacks and special ops missions. The conversion process, completed by 2008, cost around $1 billion per vessel. During the conversion, 22 of the original 24 missile tubes were modified into large vertical launch systems capable of carrying cruise missiles or other advanced payloads like supersonic and hypersonic missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs or anti-submarine warfare systems. These conversions made the Ohio-class one of the most flexible and powerful assets in the U.S. Navy. Ohio-class submarines typically perform 70-day patrols, with four always on alert in designated areas. In 2014, USS Pennsylvania completed a 140-day patrol, marking the longest on record. This class remains a key component of the U.S. 
strategic deterrent force, combining both nuclear and conventional strike capabilities. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on military history and powerful machines. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.